Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and I teach watercolor and today we are doing Wildflower Adventure. Uh... <laughs> we have Keenan here. Hello. He currently has a bubble in his throat. We're trying to introduce me as the new Keenan. We don't know how long it's going to last, so we're capitalizing <laughs> on this. I can feel it forming a bubble pop, but I'm not sure when it's going to happen. You'll be here for it. I'll be here for there it. There it goes. It's gone. It's gone. I had to swallow. I had a lot of moisture yeah. in my mouth building up. I'm just glad they were able to experience that me with too. me. Me too. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> it really did. It was wonderful. Okay, so we are going to be doing this project in five steps. Okay? Okay. Our very first step is we are going to be doing the big flowers. Second step, the big stems and leaves. I would like to point out that you got your brush wet before you like you were almost going to paint this project right then. I just thought that was important <laughs> to point out. I really appreciated it. Thank you for pointing that out. You're welcome. <laughs> our step three, we're going to do our medium flowers. So kind of like these yellow ones, the little buds. Fourth step, the medium leaves and smaller little craziness. And our very last step, splatters. So I called this project Wildflower Adventure because one, this is an adventure we're going on. We're not using an outline. This is gonna be very loose. We're not going for realism here. I'm going for fun, splashing, crazy, wildness, colors, all the things, okay? Yes. So, take a breath. We're just here to have a good time. That's it. If you get a bubble in your throat, share it with us. Share it with us, please. Okay. Now, okay, so the colors that we are using, we have primary yellow, primary red, primary blue, and Payne's gray. Hmm. Now, if you're familiar with our subscription boxes and have been painting with us for a while, you'll notice that these are new colors. And that's because we're not using our Dandelion Paint Company paints. We are using our Sennelier uh, La Petite Aquaelle fine student grade two paints Ooh. so for the first time we're using two paints in our boxes so that's pretty exciting i wanted to show you guys how to use them you'll also notice my palette here it is dirty <laughs> <laughs> and that's because with tube paint you put the paint out and you let them dry and you work off the dry so this is from the last time we painted and i'll show you how i kind of like work off of this so that way you don't wash your palette and have to start over every single time Okay. Wow, so those two paints can last for a long time. They last a long time. And that is the benefit of using tube paints is um, you want to work with them when they're dry. You save a lot of paint that way. Um, so they're pretty um, cost efficient. Is that the right word? Yep. Okay. Sure. All right, now the supplies that I'm using, and for the first time in a project ever. Oh, snap. We're using a round 12, which is a large round brush. Now, if you only have the round two and round six, you can absolutely still do this project. It's just gonna take you, like you'll have to use your round six more. Hmm. But I wanna show you how to use a round 12 for an entire project, okay? So I'm gonna be using this the whole time. Again, if you don't have it, you'll still be successful with your round six. Your okay? SPM will just go up. Your what? SPM, strokes per minute. <laughs> And we are using the Let's Make Art watercolor paper. This is a cold press, 140 pound paper. Please make sure that you are painting on the more textured side, the little bit rougher side, okay? And I'm using Holbein soft tape to tape it down so it doesn't bend while I am painting. Okay. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna clean off my palette and then I'm gonna do the oath and then we'll get into the painting. So. When your palette is like this, and this is why I struggled with like even cake pans and two pates in general, it's like when they get muddy, what do you do? Mm. So I'm just gonna take my paper towel. I'm gonna leave these greens because we're gonna be using green, but I'm gonna get rid of this up here. So I'm just taking a moist paper towel. Oh, hello. And cleaning off this part so then I have room to mix. So just get it wet, it brings it back. You just wipe it off. 
I'd like to point out how efficient you are at using a paper towel, because that I would never reuse that paper towel you just used. Really? I would need a new one. Well, I'm, I'm very particular for some reason about paper towels. I'm just trying to be more, I don't know, sustainable in my use of paper towels. I appreciate that, and, and thank you. Okay, so I cleaned off the panes gray because it looked it had a bunch of green on it, so I just took a damp paper towel and kind of went over it, cleaned it off. My yellow is good, my blue is good, and my red is good. So like, as long as you can get clean colors from these dried paints, you're good to go. If they're not clean, you just take a damp paper towel and wipe off the top, and that color will go away. And now I have this section where I can mix. Nice. Okay? Cool. Okay. Now. Let's do our oath. If you can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise to have fun. Thank you. Now, before we get into this project, I just want us to get a little bit used to using a larger brush um, for this project. Thank so I, you. I grab my round 12. The big chungus. The big chungus getting it wet, hitting it off the side of the cup. And I'm just gonna just grab whatever color and use a scratch paper right here. And I just want you to practice making thin and thick lines. So like thin lines, you're gonna do vertical hold, light pressure, okay? And then press down to, try and do the one stroke leaves. If you did our leaves tutor tutorial earlier, I showed you how to do that. I'll show you again. You do light pressure, push down, light pressure at the end. See how thick that can go? Yes. So I want you to practice doing like different leaves, stems with this brush. You can still get a pretty good line yes. with that big chungus. That's why I love rounds because how thick it can go, look how thin my line can be. Oh my goodness. And practice that too, because we're gonna be doing those thin lines for our stems. So like, see? Oh yeah, that's nice. You know, and then do leaves off of that. And again, I want you to be loose. I want you to be a little bit messy. I want you to work quickly. I want you to think too hard. I noticed that when we like try and do like thin lines really slow, they end up being a little bit shaky. You see? Yes. You know, where it's just like, I'm we'll going to paint a thin line. I'm going to go for it. We're just going to like, whoa, whoa, whoa. just go for it. Remember, like it's just a piece of paper. Worst thing that can happen, you is get you another it, piece of paper. I was going to say, is you make it pretty with paint on it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then you get a new piece of paper. Oh, you okay? I got a bubble again, but it's... <laughs> I sound like a smoker. <laughs> I don't know where I'm from now. <laughs> so just play with leaves, play with stems. Okay, it's good. Now one last thing I want us to practice before we get into it is the actual flower shape. So the reason why I love watercolors and why I think they work so beautifully with florals is because if you get the basic shape of the flower down, then like you're good to go. and flowers for the most part like d depending on the kind that you do are round okay so if you do round flowers with like a darker center in watercolor that is going to people are going to tell that's a flower totally it's so wonderful it's beautiful like thing. acrylic you got to do all the different petals and the textures you got to make every brush dry. it's so much work yeah why bring a pancake mix when you <laughs> thanks it's a, you know yeah. you get it I get it. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mi mix like a light pink peachy color. So I'm going to grab red. I'm going to add water to it so it's a nice light color. I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. Look at that. No, pretty peach. Beautiful. Okay. Now I want you to practice just doing like roundish shapes. Just round. Lift up your brush. Different shapes. Drop in that pink in the middle. It's a flower. What? <laughs> you and made you, that out of nothing. I'm trying to get it so it's not glary. There we go. 
And then you might be like, Sarah, is that really a flower? Well, add a little stem, add a leaf. 100% it's a flower. 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 So, that was just like our first run. Now when I actually go in to do my main big flower, what I'm going to be, and I'm gonna grab color for this so you can see it, but in my, when we get to the project, I'm gonna be doing just water. So, I'm gonna be kind of be doing like this kind of shape. So it kind of, it's a circle, but I'm leaving this area uh, bare a little bit. You see that? Yeah. And the reason why I'm doing that is because when it comes to using just water, let's say I'm gonna mimic that same shape. So it's basically a circle with that middle left out because then you can drop water there, I mean yellow there, and that's clearly the center of your flower, and then you drop pink around it. So it just kind of leaves a space to do the center of your flower. Does like that make that. sense? Yes, it does. And again, we're here playing and exploring and trying something new. And these are very stylistic florals that are loose. Um, that's the goal of this project. I'm not going for photorealism. I don't even know what kind of flower this is. This is just us playing around, okay? Got it. Got it, wonderful. So, play until you feel comfortable, and now let's paint. So, I'm gonna do my big flower, and I'm gonna do just water, and again, I'm using my round 12. I'm taking a deep breath. I'm going for it. We're playing. We're gonna do bold brush strokes here, you guys. Just go for it. Confidence, you know? Bold. Bold. Confidence. <laughs> Let's do this. Round 12. We're gonna start with just water. I'm gonna do my larger flower, kind of in the middle, slightly off. Usually I don't like to start with things right in the middle, but I'm very confident right now. I'm going for it. Um, let's do this. <laughs> Bold. Bold. Owning this. Okay. Water, brush, let's make a shape. Round shape. Again, you're probably not seeing anything because this is just water. Okay. Nice and round. Taking pink, dropping that in. If it's not moving, you can use your brush strokes to help it move. Okay. So that kind of same roundish shape going around. Just drop that color in, let it be, okay? We're not going for perfection here. We're really letting the paint do its thing. While it's nice and wet, I'm gonna grab yellow, drop yellow in at the top. Ba-bam. If you want more color, if like, you can leave it like this and it'll be a, this really nice light peachy color. If you want more, you can drop in more. It's up to you. The whole goal here is to drop in the color and kind of just let it do its thing. Don't overwork it. Don't, like, I'm even getting close to overworking it at this point. I'm telling myself, do not touch this flower anymore. It's done, move on, I'm moving on. Next flower, I'm gonna go to the right of it, slightly smaller and below it, so they're not right next to each other. Round a shape. Grab my pink. Drop it in, grab a little bit of yellow, drop it at the top. Okay. Drop it at the top, drop it at the top. <laughs> and I'm gonna do another one, but to the left, lower, smaller, lower than the first two. And you might be like, Sarah, you're going fast. Yes, I am, I am going fast. You need to be painting fast because when you're going fast, you can't overthink things. We're not overthinking today, we're just painting. We're just going. Paint. Usually I try and make these relaxing, but this one is not relaxing. <laughs> you better get your paintbrush you to the paper. You better paint quick. If you know what's good for you, you're you gonna have You better drop in that paint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Water, just water. Quick, fast brush strokes, not overthinking. Take your paint, drop in that paint, let it be loose, let it do its thing. Let it do the work for you. Mm -hmm. We're taking the yellow, dropping it at the top. Flower, done. Just Bam. like you're making an omelet. Yes. Let the pan do the work for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to step two. We're going to do our stems for our flowers that we just put in. So I'm going to grab my round 12. I'm going to mix a green. We went over a lot of green mixing in our green leaves tutorial early this month. So I have all those beautiful greens still on my palette. Use whatever color you want. I'm going to start with my stem, my main stem going up to my flower. When it hits that pink, that green is gonna bleed a little bit. I'm okay with that, I'm not mad about that. This is watercolor doing its job. It's beautiful, we love it. And now I'm gonna do a couple leaves off of that. One stroke, one stroke leaves. Go for it, try it. When it's still wet, drop in some yellow to that green, drop in some blue, why not? We know what we're doing. We have all the confidence in the world, you know? Yeah, totally. Okay. This is our brush. This is our paintbrush. This is where we're good. We're, we're good at this, you know? Okay, we're gonna do the side, this side stem. I'm gonna kind of have it originate from the center. Coming up, leaf, let it overlap. Let it be loose, let it be messy. Oh, I love the greens you have going on right Isn't now. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay, let's do the one down here. This one's gonna curve, okay? Is it touching it? It can or it cannot, it doesn't matter. We're just going for it. We're not overthinking it, it's okay? It's a real fantasy land that you get to create. We're playing. Yes, we're just having fun. We're just having fun, who cares? Who cares what this looks like in the end? We're just feeling it, you know? What? Agreed. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go into our uh, like medium leaves. So I'm gonna do like these yellow dots here, okay? So what I do, I rinse my brush so there's no color. So I'm only using water, and I'm gonna do a bunch of dots that overlap and touch each other, okay? And then they thin out when they get to the top, they get thinner. And then when they're wet like that, I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and drop that in to those dots. It's just gonna move in that water. Boop, boop, boop. Again, fast, not overthinking it. Just going for it, you guys. We're just, just doing it. Okay, same thing on the other side. Water dots. We're working quick so we don't overthink. Ooh, this is like that one project we did where we timed, we added yeah. a timer. Yeah. That was stressful. And usually with loose flowers, especially with no outline, we're really worried about composition. We're really worried about this. Throw all of that away. Who cares about that right now? We're just playing. Okay, got my medium flowers. Now, we're gonna do the stems. So I'm just gonna kinda connect the stems to these yellow parts. When that green touches it, it bleeds, it but it's beautiful. It's so cool, I just saw that. It's beautiful though. Ah. We do long skinny leaves. Why not? Maybe a thicker leaf right here. Let's go for it. I've seen a leaf like that. Okay, now we're gonna do this larger leaf behind because we, we've done a really good job on the bottom half of our paper. We really have ignored the top half of our paper, but it's not a big deal. Who cares? Because we can just add another layer right now. And I'm talking really quickly and intensely, and I usually don't, but I wanna stress to you guys. Just use your diaphragm. What, what do I? You're doing great. I'm doing great? Yeah. Thanks, Keenan. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna do more like just a leaf stem with a bunch of leaves on it. So I'm gonna do my top leaf first and then the stem, and you'll see, I didn't even connect that to the flower. The stem doesn't even go all the way. I don't care. Let's go, go, paint, quick, fast, loose, drop in color, fake the confidence. You guys got this. <laughs> It'll come in later. It will come later. Go over it, do details, who cares? There's my stem that I forgot. Ba-bam. Or maybe you're like, man, I'm thinking all of these blues are the same blue. You can be like, one, who cares, let's go. Or I can just lift, grab some yellow green, introduce that so it differs. Lift and drop. Lift, yes. 
Reshape your leaves if you did a, -stro a single stroke and it just wasn't where you wanted it to be. Do another one, okay? Ooh. You'll see that I'm not connecting this all the way to the bottom. That's on purpose because I don't want it to get like too congested down here, okay? You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's a floating leaf. I don't care. Who cares? Okay? Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do, I feel like I need pink up here. So I'm going to do, grab some more pink. And let's do like a, like a snapdragon type thing where it's just kind of, here's some flowers, here's some flowers, here's some flowers, and they kind of go to nothing over there. When they're nice and wet, you can drop in some more color. Now we're gonna put our stem in when it's nice and wet because we want that color to touch and bleed and be messy. And I'm gonna do a long stem here. Boop. Now, I got like my main stuff in. Now I'm going to use my 12 and do these kind of like weed looking things that are like, you know, the long grass that have the little mm. dots on them. Mm -hmm. So mix a green, any green, try and go for a different green than what you already have here. And let's do one here, wherever you feel like there could be a little extra interest in space. And then I'm just gonna do dot, 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 Okay, let's do another one over here. Boop, 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 boop. We're not going for rhyme and reason here, friends. We're not going for realism. We're going for play. We're going for wild. We're going for crazy. You could even do a different color scheme if you want to get real crazy. Absolutely. Okay, let's do the dot, dot, dot near the bottom. Over here, I feel like this could use a little extra TLC, a little extra interest. Boop, 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 boop. And then now, this is looking kind of wild. This is looking interesting. This is looking, what's going on here? Now we can just do like random floating leaves. Did you notice that here, we just have random floating leaves right here? Oh, wow. Yeah, because I felt like it needed something. And we're gonna use leaves to do that. So here's a leaf, here's a leaf. Maybe we'll do another leaf down here. There's a kid out there that wants to grow up and be a leaf. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's be leaves. This one needs a leaf. Are we just putting leaves in nonsensical areas that don't connect to stems and don't make any real sense in time and space? Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. Perfect. Why not? Maybe another leaf over here. Okay, now this is the point where you're like, okay, I'm looking at my painting. Where are there some empty spaces? I feel like this space is a little bit empty down here. So what I can do is I can do another leaf stem. I can do, I wouldn't do more flowers. I don't think that there's enough space for flowers, but I do think that I can like go over some of these things and bring stuff around. Maybe we do another dot thing right here. This looks awesome. Yeah? Yeah, look at that. I mean, it looks great. And even if it doesn't look great, sometimes you need to have projects where you're just going for it. I really appreciate paintings that are detailed and layered and realistic and have value and uh, form. Those are wonderful. I also love just going and being messy and playing with my paintbrush and who cares? It's just a piece of paper. And that's what we're doing here. We're going for it. We're being wild. We already did up to step four. <laughs> wow. We're on, we're on our very last step, which is just doing splatters. I so, feel like step, no, never mind. We're on step the five. The name, adventure, is the main step. Yes, absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. Okay, we're just gonna do splatters. I wanna do like peach pink splatters. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna grab my round 12. I'm gonna grab that peach pink, hide anything that is valuable, and you're gonna hit your paintbrush on your hands, and you are just gonna let it go. Maybe you wanna do a little bit of yellow. Why not, you guys? Like, seriously, throw caution to the wind. Throw it. Throw expectations to the wind. Throw everything to the wind. Throw the wind. Throw the, throw the wind. <laughs> I'm gonna take some yellow. Let's do some yellow dots. 
Okay, this is feeling, this is feeling good. This is feeling crazy. This yes. is feeling like I'm having fun. Don't you love it when you look at a painting and you can tell that someone just had fun? You know? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. It is. I agree, yeah. It is fun. Take the time to just have fun. People can tell. People can tell when you paint something and you had joy in it, you know? They can feel that. It's weird. It's there. Okay, I'm going to do one more little small leaf thing right here because I just don't like that this is bare. And I'm just going to go whoop, 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 whoop. That feels pretty darn good. And look how that green bled into that pink. Isn't that pretty? I know. I noticed the first green bleed in the little top right yellow guy. Because you guys, this is what I love about painting quickly, not paying attention and going for it. Because your painting is going to go. It, it shifts after you put something in there, especially in watercolor. So now, now that we've moved so fast and we weren't paying attention, we weren't looking at anything, now we can stop and look. Look how that green bled into that pink. Look at how that yellow bled into that pink right there. Look at this, this water accidentally touched oh. that leaf and bled into that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at how this yellow is in this leaf and this leaf yeah. when I went over it. Look how green went into that. I mean, I love the top pink ones. Yeah, like look at the, the little, the, the shapes, look at that little green in yes. there. Like, I love that my brush was dry when I did this brush stroke and there's a rough texture on that now. I love that this bled into that. That's gorgeous. I didn't mean to do that. That was totally an accident. I love it. I love it so much. So this project is done. Wow. That was it. And I just have a little disclaimer. If this was your very first tutorial with us, they're not all like this. They're not as wild. They're not, in, they're not wild. They're not an adventure like this. <laughs> but with watercolor especially, it's so fun to just go and look at it later. Play and pay attention later. And the next time when you are taking your time, when you are being very methodical and thoughtful, which again, there is value to that. There is place for that. Think of what you learned here. Think about how just dropping colors in and moving on, they do the work for you. We did not baby this flower. This just happened. We did not mean for these bleeds and these layers to, to happen. They happened. Trust yourself in this process. Allow yourself to explore and play and don't wait for someone to give you permission to try something that you want to try. And sometimes the only way to get past those fears and get past those, um, that voice in your head that's telling you, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong. You need to sometimes just say, voice, be quiet. I'm here to just play. Just do that a lot. And then when you go to make stuff on your own, when you go to try stuff, when you are trying to be really thoughtful, You'll have all of this experience to pull from and learn from and play with. So if this tutorial was extremely frustrating for you, I'm so sorry, but I had the best time and I hope you guys had fun too. Let things happen. Don't be mad about it. Embrace it, appreciate it, celebrate it, move on and keep painting. That's how we get better. That's how we build our skill set. This is how we do things and I hope you guys had fun. I cannot wait to see what you guys painted and please share it. If you're in Facebook, you can put it in our Facebook group. That's called Let's Make Art Watercolor. It's a community made solely for you guys just to share your work in a supportive place. Uh, we're on Instagram. You can tag us at Let's Go Make Art, hashtag Let's Make Art. Again, with this project, with this wildflower adventure, I just wanted you guys to have joy. That's it. So. Keenan, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining today. I had a blast. Uh, if you want more low-key tutorials, we have like <laughs> hundreds of others. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it. That's it for us. So we'll see you next week. Bye.